Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome back to another episode of the Borussia Dortmund career mode series. This is episode number 30. I can't believe we've already reached episode number 30. But anyways, as you can see the league table right here, we are in first place after 19 games. 15 wins, just 3 draws and 1 loss. Also, we have Aubameyang in the second position on the top scorers list. He's been really crucial to our uh, Bundesliga campaign. Also, Royce is in the first place in terms of assists. Leno has the most clean sheets. So, over, overall, our team is doing well, which is good to see. If we could smash our 50 likes on this episode, I would really appreciate it. The, the support recently has just been insane. It's now time to face Bayer Leverkusen at home. So, it's going to be a difficult game because they are a very good sign. The worst part is... We are playing in snowy conditions. You guys know I don't kind of like to play in snowy conditions. But uh, I, at the same time, I do get good results while playing in snowy conditions. I don't think I have lost a game when I'm playing in the snow. So it might be just a superstition or something like that. But uh, it seems to work. And as you can see right here, Leno with a fantastic save to keep the score nil-nil. Then we had a great chance here as the ball is with Shinji Kagawa. Plays it into Guntogan who takes the shot. But it was a very tame effort and the keeper just had to, you know, save it easily. And then again, we had a chance here coming from Jose Gaia who just smashes the ball onto the keeper. But he makes a very good save to keep the score nil-nil. Then they had a chance here as they put the ball into the box. But the player's header, I think it was Hernandez, goes just above the crossbar. In fact, it was a terrible header. Then we had a free kick here coming from Marco Royce. Yeah, but he's not Chalanoglu to, you know, smash that into the back of the net. If you guys don't remember the free kick Chalanoglu took in the Everton series, you should be going and checking out that one. It was just epic. But talking about an epic goal, this was insane from Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. What a strike that was. So much power behind it. Good play as well. As you can see, Guntogan tried to play the 1-2, but Aubameyang couldn't return the ball, but the ball fell to him, and then he just smashed it into the left side of the goal. That is Aubameyang for you. What a goal from him. And then we had another chance here. Pjanic with the ball, plays it into Douglas Costa, who takes the ball inside and tries to finesse it into the back of the net, but he misses. He hasn't scored yet for us, so hopefully he'll score his first goal for the club soon. And then we had a chance here coming from Marco Royce. He lays it off to Aubameyang, and that's just easy peasy stuff from Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. That's his 13th goal in the Bundesliga. That's just insane. And hopefully he'll be able to score like 25 goals this season because we need a good striker. This one was really good. I don't know who scored it, but that was a really, really good strike from him. And probably it's going to be only a consolation goal. That was one heck of a strike. Just look at that. On the counter, they just smashed the ball into the top right corner. Then we had a free kick here to potentially seal this game. But Royce's free kick goes just above the crossbar. Inches above it. So really unlucky stuff from Mark Royce. But that's it for this game. And it's been a very good game in my opinion. 2-1. Uh, uh, we dominated much more than what the scoreline suggests. But that's it for that game. Now it's time for some training. Hopefully uh, some of our players will grow in their overall. Gaia is close to growing. Yes, he does grow. Gaia is now 82, which is really amazing. Because we need top quality players in every position. And I think our left back was probably the lowest overall at the start of the season. But now he's 82, which is good to see. We have simmed this game in the uh, German Cup against Werder Bremen. 1-0 we did win. And now we are in the semi-finals of that competition, which is good. Also, I've changed some kit numbers. You can see that Pjanic is now number 10. If you guys want me to change these kit numbers to ones you guys want, just let me know in the comment section below. You can see all the kit numbers right now. Royce is still 11. I put Tielmans on 14. And I've put Douglas Costa on 7 so if you guys have any problems with the kit numbers you guys can let me know down in the comment section below and I'll probably change it but now it's time to face I think it's Frankfurt here at home let's see if we can get a good result against them and keep the good run going we've been really winning games now scoring goals comfortably on legendary which is good to see yeah Damian makes a very good tackle but then we just give the ball away and then they had a long shot and it went just wide. not exactly a long shot but a great chance for them to score then they had another chance here just moments after that and this time they do score from close range what a finish that was our keeper Leno had no chance of saving that but that was disappointing stuff we shouldn't have conceded so early on now we are trying to come back in this game it's Aubameyang with the shot it falls to Kagawa returns it to Aubameyang with the shot he hits the post and now oh, I just it's so irritating when I hit the post right now because I in, I do it like every single game. I've just brought on Klaassen. Let's see how he performs. Hopefully he'll be able to change this game. But Gaia here, he's been playing really well for me lately. He gets the ball off there and plays it into Aubameyang who lays it off to Douglas Costa who just has to tap it home. Probably not the best decision I made. I could have scored it on through with Aubameyang as well but I somehow decided to just pass it on to Douglas Costa. He finished it well. Douglas Costa now with the ball and we have a great chance here. Douglas Costa has a chance to return the 
favour from Aubameyang. He does so, but Aubameyang couldn't finish it. And the score is 1-0. I really want to win this game. We're trying to do so. Here's Douglas Costa here. Making a run inside the box. Now, in fact, it's Aubameyang right now in the box. Aubameyang with the shot. And he scores. It's 2-1. Now, we have made the comeback. We were 1-0 down before half-time. And now, we are leading... Two goals to one after 76 minutes. A great run from Douglas Costa. He returned the favour to Aubameyang finally. They had a great chance to score here. But Leno with an insane save to keep the score 2-1. But unfortunately, one of our best players this season, Gaia, got himself injured. He was so crucial to us. He, he actually literally won us the UEFA Super Cup on his own. So I hope it's not a serious injury. But here we have a great chance to you know, seal this game. The ball falls to Aubameyang who lays it off to Royce. And well... This just sums up Royce's performance for me this season. He's been trying so hard to play well, but unfortunately, nothing is working for him. But anyways, we do win this game 2-1. That's what matters. Another victory for us. We've scored like four goals in the last two games, which is pretty good on Legendary. But apart from that, as you can see, it's time for some training. I'm training Carazzo instead of Jose Guy. I was only going to be out for like nine days, which is a relief because we really needed him. He's a quality player. A lot of growth in the team right now. And Bolo's, you know, gained a lot of uh, stats. Of, yeah, gained a lot of stats in his uh, attacking position positioning finishing and all that which is really good to see it's now time to face my arch nemesis uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach I just hate facing this side I mean I faced them three side three times before this game and I've literally drawn every single one of them and it's not been like a boring draw each in each game I've scored like two goals I think the first one I won I drew two all the second one it was one all and the third one I think was I think yeah it was one all as well so it's been really really difficult to get good results against them but here we had a chance to score but Davy Klaas in his shots is saved by their goalkeeper so I just want to win this game at any cost yeah we have a chance here coming from Hesse Rodriguez Hesse here yeah, Hesse with the shot what a save from their goalkeeper now we have another chance here the ball is at Bazo it's still Bazo yeah Bazo decides to cut back here into Klaas and Klaas and with the shot and the keeper made a very good save. The score is still nil nil. We have a corner here. Trying to make a set piece out of it. Hesse now. Hesse into Ginter. Ginter into Bazor. He finds space and shoots and scores. That's the first goal against Gladbach after 40 minutes. It's 1 nil against them. Now we just need to hold on. I don't want to concede against them. I don't want to draw again. I just hate facing, facing Gladbach. And I really want to get one over them. I want to win this game at any cost. Here we have a chance here. TLM, TLMans into Embolo. Embolo into Klassen. Klassen cuts inside. Klassen with a finish shot. But it goes just wide and the score is still 1-0 one one to Dortmund. And now we have another chance here. The ball is with Davy Klaassen. Davy Klaassen finds space inside. Takes a long shot with his right foot. And how close was that? If that would have gone in, definitely goal of the season. Last season's goal was goal of the season was also from Royce against Gladbach. And we were trying to do that again last time. Royce scored it. This time it was Klaassen who came very close. And now late on, they have a chance. We can't concede now in the 88th minute. We do concede it's Patrick Herrmann with an insane goal. One of the best goals I've conceded. That was just insane stuff. Games against Gladbach have always been entertaining. and But this time it didn't go well for us. But one all. Well, uh, I, I don't know what to say. Really poor results in my opinion. Uh, to a side that is right now ninth in the league. We should have won that game. Anyways, we are still at the top of the league with 55 points. Which is really good to see. Schalke have like 52 points and Bayern have 51. Also, we have been drawn with Inter Milan in the round of 16 of the Champions League. I'm not too disappointed. I mean, I think we can get past them pretty easily. They're obviously a good team with good players and all that. But obviously, we are now leading the Bundesliga. And that means we definitely have a very good side. To compete in the Champions League. I also happen to rest my first team for this game against Inter Milan, so they are fully fit. We'll have players like Royce, Aubameyang, all playing against Inter Milan, which is what we need. Also, it's time for a squad report. As you can see, Socrates has gone up by one. He's 85. Hummels is still 88. Also, as you saw, Burn Leno has gone up by two. Uh, Gaia has now gone up by two, which is good to see. He's 82. Pjanic is 87. That's just insane. I mean, look at those stats. He's just one of the best midfielders right now. Gundogan is still 83. The same with Kagawa. Douglas Costa is now 83. He's gone up by one already, which is insane insane and Aubameyang is really disappointed with his uh, overall right now should be more than 82 we might have to replace him just because of that I don't think so because he's that good Royce is still 88 uh, Mbolo is now 81 gone up by three which is awesome uh, Iniaki Williams is 79 man this guy's stats are just insane look at that physical stats and all that he's just a beast in this game hopefully it'll be really amazing for us Bazaar has gone up by three which is really awesome Davy Klaassen is 82 
Hesse is 80 now, he's gone up by 1, which is good to see. Weidenfeller hasn't gone down yet, but he's decreasing in a few stats, which is really bad to see. But he's been in amazing form for us whenever he's been called up to play. Ernesto Carazzo has gone up by 1, the same with Virgil, both are players for the future. Tielemans is still 80, but some of his stats are growing which already, which is really good. Eric Derm is now 79, Florenzi is still 77, he's probably the lowest rated player, I mean, apart from the youngsters like Carazzo and Virgil. But that's it for this episode, in the next episode we'll have that game against Inter Milan, we'll probably send this game against Dusseldorf who are bottom of the league, then we'll have Hertha Berlin, we'll also have this game against Hamburg and also this game against Köln. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and if you guys have, don't forget to drop a like, do subscribe if you're new to this channel, follow me on Twitter to stay updated. And yeah, I will see you guys in one of my next videos.